is what? It's the tray way, huh? Uh, D A N I E L space H E R N A N D E Z. All right, good afternoon. Speak. I'll ask you to keep your voice up and speak slowly and distinctly for the benefit of everybody in this large courtroom. Counsel, you may inquire. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you. Mr. Hernandez, how old are you? 23. You're older. You go by any other names? Yes. What are those? Uh, Takashi, uh, Takashi Six Nine, um, Pix. Yeah. Mr. Hernandez, where were you born? Uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. How far did you go in school? <sighs> About the tenth, eleventh uh, grade or so, like that. What? Mr. Hernandez, are you currently in federal custody? Whoa. Yes, sir. Approximately when did you start living in federal custody? Uh, about no, uh, November 18, 2018. What were you arrested for? Uh, racketeering charges, um, you know, uh, violent crimes, shootings, uh, drug distribution. At some point, did you decide to cooperate with the government? Yes. When did that happen? Uh, a day after, um, November 19th, the day after uh, we, we was taken down. In connection with your cooperation, have you pleaded guilty to certain crimes? Yes. What crimes did you plead guilty to? Um, I believe there was uh, nine counts of racketeering, um, shootings, uh, and, and drug distribution. You listed racketeering as one of the crimes to which you pleaded guilty. Were you a member of any gang? Yes, sir. What was the name of the gang that you were a member of? Uh, the Nantre Bloods. Nantre Blood. Approximately when did you become a member? Uh, around, uh, I would say November of 2017. What sorts of things did nine trade members do? I'm sorry? What sorts of things did nine trade members do? Uh, we participated in a lot of, uh, you know, violent crimes, um, robberies, assaults, uh, drugs, sorts of that nature. Mr. Hernandez, do you recognize anyone in the courtroom who was a member of nine trade when you were a member? Yes. Who do you recognize? And if you, if you can identify that person, uh, you identify where they're sitting in an article of clothing that that person may be wearing. Uh, Hob, Anthony Ellison has a gray suit on. Um, uh, and uh, Luke Ajumai Mack has the brown suit on. The white thing on his head. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the uh, witness has identified Mr. Mack and Mr. Ellison? Yes, the record reflects that Mr. Um, um, Hernandez, in sequence, uh, uh, identified uh, Mr. Ellison and then Mr. Mack. Thank you, Your Honor. <coughs> now, Mr. Hernandez, we'll turn back to Nine Trey in a minute. Before we do, I'd like to ask you some questions about your life before Nine Trey. Where'd you grow up? Uh, I was raised and lived. Uh, Bush, Brooklyn. Where did you go to school? Um, for elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, for middle school, I went to Walmart Campos. For elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, middle school, Walmart Campos. And uh, high school, for the time being, went to Legacy High School. Legacy. Yeah, Legacy High School. Did you work? Yes. What'd you do? Uh, I started working at the, I want to say the age of 13. Uh, my first job was at uh, the Greenpoint Youth Court. It's a job that handles like misdemeanor cases for youth. Um, 
where the youth acts in like a bailiff, judge, jury, youth advocate, community advocate type of thing. I did that about for two months. I'm not, uh, Mr. Hernandez, I'm gonna cut you off. I think you are uh, speaking so close to the mic that you're blurring some of your words. Maybe move back a tiny bit to the mic and keep your voice up and keep speaking slowly. Thank you. Uh, so I did that for about a year. Uh, I didn't make a lot of money doing that, so I started working with my brother. Uh, busting tables. I did that for about a year and a half. And uh, then did a job at a grocery store named Stay Fresh and Grill where I worked as a delivery boy. I did that uh, about for two years. Uh, I worked up to register. Shortly after that, uh, I landed another busboy job. And then after that, became a rapper. So you said that you started a music career, is that right? Yes. Approximately when did that happen? I'd say around uh, 2014. Uh, and, and how did it come about? Well, at the, at the store I was working in, um, Stay Fresh and Grill, um, there was a guy under the name Peter Rogers, always, always coming there, buy a tea and like a tilapia, some peanuts, stuff like that. He asked me if, uh, if, I, if I made music and if I rapped. Uh, and I was like, no. And he was like, well, you know, got the image for it, you look, look cool. I was like, you know, I took it in consideration and we started making music um, from, the, from the deli. And, and again, this is around 2014? Yes, sir, like late 2014, like September. So when you started making music in around 2014, what type of music were you making? It was more of a, like a rock and roll uh, rap. Approximately how many records or songs did you release? Uh, eight, I believe. I believe around eight. Did you go on any tours? Yeah. Where did you tour? Uh, Eastern Europe. Um, I toured in uh, Bratislava, Slovakia. Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, Prague, Czech Republic. Brno. Czech Republic, uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, and uh, Moscow. Were you making any money at this time as a as a, as a metal rap performer? Um, I mean, for all those shows, I made about like two thousand dollars profit. I, I did it just for the experience. Now, Mr. Hernandez, did there come a time when the type of music that you recorded changed? Yes. Approximately when did that happen? Uh, around, uh, it, it changed in September of 2017. Uh, uh, directing your attention to September 2017, did there come a time when you filmed a music video in Brooklyn? Yes, sir. Where in Brooklyn? Uh, Bedford Stuyvesant, uh, Brooklyn, um, on Madison between uh, Tompkins Avenue and True. Do you remember the address? I believe I want to say it's 370 Madison. 370? 370. <laughs> Ms. Horney, can we please pull up for the witness what's been marked for identification as government exhibit 202? This shit right now crazy. Mr. Hernandez, do you see government exhibit 202? Yes. What is that? 370 Madison. Is that a photograph of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. Does it fairly accurately depict the way 370 Madison looked? Yes, sir. Your Honor, the government offers government exhibit 202. Any objection? None, Your Honor. No, no objection. Receive. May we publish it, Your Honor? Yes. You filmed the music video in, in front of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. What was the name of that song? Gummo. Gummo. G U M M O. This morning we can take down the two girls. Fire. 
Mr. Hernandez, how did the filming of Gumbo come about? Um, around August of 2017, uh, I, made, I made the song Gumbo. What? Uh,